Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at Cam Software by NZXT. I know a few of you probably, if you watch my videos regularly, have noticed that I have been putting some little bumpers at the beginning, or you've been seeing the in-game overlays that Cam has to offer um, while I've been playing games. You've probably just noticed some of that. So we're gonna talk about uh, Cam today, because I haven't seen anybody actually cover the software in a video on the internet. So today that's what we're gonna do. So first off, let's talk about what we're seeing right now. This is the dashboard. Um, the dashboard's kinda neat. Um, as you can see, things are happening right now. We have our, our temperature of our CPU and the load it's under. We also have the temperature for our GPU, or a video card for people who may be watching this and don't know much about computers, and then the load. Obviously, the load's gonna keep freaking out because I am recording at the moment. It probably just thinks the other thing's going crazy, but that's fine. Load does that on uh, GPUs pretty regularly. We'll talk about that more in a second. We also have our RAM available and how much is being used under its load. We have what is taking up current performance. We have the client for LOL. We have OBS recording right now and not much else open. Curse, Cam Client, and Corsair Link, which is another monitoring program. Um, we have our drives. We can also switch through our other drives and see what's being used, how much space we have, and all of that. That's just this front page. I actually typically run mine in nighttime mode. I think this looks better. Um, you can actually customize all this. You can change this header at the top. You can change all your colors. Um, so if you don't like orange, but I love orange, so we're gonna do orange. Um, going to the advanced tab, you can take a look at what is really going on, and you can see how things have been performing over an hour, over a day, over a week, um, for almost all these things. We'll go through them roughly and quick. You can see the temperatures, you can go in here too, and get way more in depth and in detailed on those. Um, like for example, if you look over here, you can see the load and the temperature that it was running earlier, and that was when I was playing, I believe, a game of League of Legends. So you can see what these were at, at certain points, your mins and your maxes and how things were running. You also have your core clock speeds and your voltage currently happening along with your fan RPM, which is kind of neat and kind of nice to see. The one thing we're gonna be able to see with the CAM software in a second is just how detailed and just how much everything is where you want it whenever you need to get to it, whether or not you use it regularly or if you just wanna see some of it because it's kind of unique to see how some of the stuff works or if you just like to do a lot of bench uh, benchmarking or testing or tweaking, this is a great program for that. And um, if, since I didn't say it already, it's 100% free to download. Um, there's a link down below, obviously, in the description that you should click on and check it out. Um, it's really, it's really kind of neat. So we have our PC load and all that there for our CPU. Um, we have GPU selected down here. You can see what our GPU's been doing. Like I said, the random spikes for load, that's pretty normal, honestly. Um, you can go for day, week, hour. You can check your motherboard. You can check all of the voltages on its rail. You can check the temperatures uh, are all over because there's always thermometers all across your motherboard. And then you have your fan speeds as well here. You can check your RAM, where it's been running, its load over the past day. There's probably higher there when we are playing League. Um, over the day, you know, whatever, how much you're using, depending on how much. Apparently I haven't done much lately. Um, yeah, eh, probably a little bit in After Effects. Or playing The Division. In fact, it says right there, look, top apps, The Division, right there. I can't, I can't, uh, there. It, yeah, it changes, but it says the division. So, and then when that happened, and then obviously we have uh, more things, your hard drives, we can select those, and then you can actually check your net and how much you're downloading or uploading, seeing what's happening there and all that fun stuff. I leave this typically on CPU and on GPU for me personally. Um, expanded mode, this is when we really can start getting into uh, specs and such. Um, top apps, it's showing what is currently running. This is very similar to, you know, if you do control shift escape to see your, your PC stuff that's built in to Windows. Um, we have all the model names of everything our components are. You know, our Intel i7-6700K. It's a Skylake with a max TDP of 95 watts on which socket, the technology and its frequency. Same thing with the GPU. You can see all of that there, which is kind of nice if you're looking for some of that. And uh, motherboard, RAM, hard drive, all that fun stuff. You can see all this stuff, see what's available, see how it uses, know your timings, know what kind you're using, what frequency it runs out. Um, you can see all that stuff really in depth too. You can see your motherboard, if you ever forget the name of it for some reason, there it is. It's Mine's the Sabertooth Z170S and all of that. So, and then, um, oh, didn't wanna click that. And then we have more stats. You can see live temperatures on each individual core, the average temperature, your min max clock, multiplier, bus speed and voltage, all available always updating and all that fun stuff. GPU, same things going on there. Motherboard, same things going on here for your voltage and all of that. And really, you are in stats heaven if you're into this stuff, which I actually am, to be honest. And um, you can just have all this at your nitty gritty fingertips, to say the least. So it is worth taking a look at. That's not quite all it offers. Then you can go to your games tab. This also still breaks everything down. All those timings, you know your stuff. It's all right 
here, you know, the BIOS date on what your motherboard may be if anybody ever asks. You can also edit the PC in here too and check your drives. Now my drives currently don't say the power on hours, but it'll keep track of the hours logged on your hard drives. Let you know if they might be getting old or if they might start to run into uh, infrequencies when they start to drop um, data or if data becomes corrupt. Um, it's always good to keep an eye on how long you've had your drives on. Uh, it's not picking this up right now because this is a new PC build for me and so mine aren't picking up currently. And then um, the games tab is really unique. So what happens in the games tab is this will log away all the games you've been playing and individual sessions. So these are individual league games. And what your FPS was, obviously the duration you're playing, that's 44 minutes, not 44 seconds. And then this is your minimum FPS, which mine are low, but they're only super low because when you tab out of a game, it just really doesn't try to run it at any kind of FPS. So those are invalid for me. Um, your average FPS that you've been running during those matches, um, you can see what the difference is when I am not streaming versus I think when I am streaming. You can see that I dropped down a bit lower um, because of the load it is on my PC. And then your max FPS as well. And what you can see from that also, you know, other games, there's Hearthstone, which Hearthstone likes to lock in at 60 frames a second. Obviously, it dips when you uh, tab out, once again. And the Division, once again, I think I was tabbed out for a very long time. AFK, you could say. And then uh, what it runs at, typically, actually, it was around 100 frames. It must have been a menu, probably. Uh, but this was typically around 60 frames a second, typically. Uh, maybe a little higher, depending on where you're at, if you're inside, outside, and all that. So you can check all that stuff, too. You can check it by the minute. You can check it by the hour. Obviously, none of these are for that long. It's actually picking up After Effects, which is comical. It thinks After Effects is a game. If only it was a game, or as fun as a game. It's kind of a really neat program, honestly. If you're interested in any of that stuff, obviously, you should check it out. Um, but just real quick, let's jump into a match or a game of some type and just take a look at how the overlay looks. So here we are. We've just booted up some of the Division. Um, just real quick to take a look at the overlay in game. As you can see, it's down the bottom left hand corner. Um, you can see the GPU, which is obviously going to try to max out because it wants to run the game in Ultra. And then we have the CPU usage along with temperatures for both of those, the RPMs that the fans are running at. And then we have our memory being used available at the moment. And then um, we have our minimum, our average, and our maximum FPS. And we have just the current FPS, which is currently sitting around 57. 59, 53. Um, so yes, that is what's currently happening there. If you want to move it around, I'm probably actually going to use my ultimate here, which is going to happen because that's the same button on T. Um, yeah, there it is. I moved it to the top and then to the other side and then to the bottom. Um, obviously, I put this where I want it before I start playing, but you can move it around the corners pretty simply. You can toggle it simply on or off too with O, which also then opens up that corner too. Um, but I leave it on, obviously, because I want to see what's happening. So um, it's pretty simple and straightforward, and this is what it looks like in games. Obviously, you can change the colors, like I said, or the font and all that if you want to uh, keep an eye on everything. Obviously, the temperatures of the CPU and the GPU will both probably start to rise a little bit. As I say that, they actually both go down a degree. Um, that's mildly comical. Um, but yeah, that is, for the most part, weapon parts. And that is Cam App and how it works and all that fun stuff. Obviously, my FPS is a little bit lower right now. In case you're wondering why, I'm on Ultra and because I'm capturing this Look, we and both got shit to do that's right gonna happen now. but yes later. anyways that's cam take a look at that link in the description and check it out like i said it is free to download free to use all that fun stuff it's really quite nice unique and a really good way to keep an eye on literally all of your system stuff so um i recommend you do that and i want to thank you for watching this video leave it a like if you made it to the end which is amazing if you made it this far you probably liked it i mean let, let's face it you did you did if you made it this far. And chances are if you didn't, then you probably hit dislike and you left early. Um, who knows? Nobody knows. I don't even know. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for taking a look at this uh, video and at Cam. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one.